Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to Maui Don Fit, where we learn everything from fitness to food to keep us feeling good and looking great. Now, I've been getting a lot of people telling me that they just don't have time to work out in their day. They don't have 30 minutes to an hour that they can set aside to either work out at home or get to the gym and get a workout in. People have kids, people have PTA meetings, people have chores, you know, life gets in the way. I understand, but I'm here to share my number one trick so that you can find the extra time in your day to work out and start your journey on feeling good and looking great. So how do I do it? How do I find the extra time in my day to work out when I just don't have it? Where is that half hour supposed to come from? Well, my secret trick is using the wasted seconds throughout your day. You're about to get the kids to school. You're about to leave the house to go grocery shopping. You're about to vacuum. You're about to make dinner. You're about to do something. Doesn't matter what it is. There's a 30 second to one minute period there where you can do 10 push-ups, you can do 10 sit-ups, you can do 10 squats. And all of those wasted seconds where you're trying to figure out what to do next that you fill with an exercise are going to help you greatly. You can do nothing throughout your day and you will do zero push-ups, right? Or you could do 10 push-ups 10 times a day and do 100 push-ups a day. Makes sense. You don't need the half hour at a time, the hour at a time to commit to doing it. You just have to start. You have to start somewhere. And starting with those wasted seconds is going to help you greatly in your fitness journey. So hold on to your dumbbells because we're gonna work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. So I'm just going to share my go-to push-ups and curls with you, starting with a basic push-up here. Keep your hands back as far as you can. And when you come up, try to go in a forward diagonal motion not just straight up and down. Here it is from another angle. Fingertips facing forward and my hands are at a slight outward angle. Go slowly and under control. We're only doing a few at a time, so make sure they are quality. Next, I like wide push-ups. Put your arms as far out as you can with still being able to do the exercise. Fingertips are pointed out so your wrists are comfortable and we keep that same diagonal up motion slow and under control the entire time. Push-ups are a great whole body exercise. Try to focus on keeping your core tight, legs strong, and muscles engaged. Stay strong and push through. If you can't do a regular push-up, try them on your knees to start until you can do them with your legs fully extended. Now switch to reverse grip with your fingertips facing your feet. These are my favorite. Don't ask me why, I just like doing them. Keep your elbows into your body and at the top of the push-up, no matter which style, try to really push your chest out while simultaneously trying to push your arms in towards one another. You can clearly see here that no one is perfect. I have excess skin hanging from my stomach. My goal is to fill that with muscle so it fades away. What are some of your goals? Put them in the comments and maybe we can cover some of them in a future episode. On to the curls. Let's start with a basic one. Palms facing up, elbows tucked in and back, and make sure you have enough weight to make it difficult, but not so much that you can't do 10 of them. Always slow and under control, making sure to go down to full extension. Keeping those elbows back helps to put more of the load on the bicep, which is what we're mainly targeting here.
Hammer curls are another great option. Keep your palms facing your body and grab the weight as you would a hammer, hence the name. Really focus on what muscles you're trying to use while keeping all of the others tight for support. With this curl, your elbows will tend to come forward just from the way you're holding the weights. This is fine, don't fight it too much. Always down to full extension to get the most out of these super short exercises. Lastly, we're going wide again. Like the basic curl, our palms are facing up, but this time we rotate our forearms out from our body at about a 45 degree angle. Still keep your elbows tight to your body as you curl. These really target the interior of your bicep, giving you that round, baseball-type appearance. Use whatever weight you are comfortable with. You are only in competition with yourself, so don't worry about how much other people are lifting. There it is, my number one trick to show you that you actually do have the extra time in your day to start working out, to get exercises done, and start your fitness journey off right so that you can start looking good and feeling great. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click like. It really helps me further this channel and helps us stay in our fitness journey together. Thank you so much for watching. Many mahalos and much aloha.